Hello friends, this is my fourth video in this game, and in this video, I want to share to you my personal marksman carry strategy. I'm doing this in hope to improve your marksman's proficiency, especially if you're a solo player. So first of, my game plan revolves around the game time, in other words, I have a game priority objectives, per the game time. For instance, in around 4 minutes of the game, I should have my first item around that time, in order to help to take the overlord, or the tyrant in the jungle, this will increases my overall chance of winning the match. In the lane, always try to last hit the minions to earn more gold. You can also try harass the enemy or go for the kill, but be very careful. Tip, do not miss bird and the second wave of minions. This is very important to get your first item fast. Tip, when moving close to the enemy tower, always assume that the enemy jungler is nearby. After the second wave, go to your jungle near your tower for extra gold, if it's still there. You can always try to take enemy jungle above you, but it's risky. Next is third wave. Do not miss even one minions. This is very important. Also, this goes without saying, but avoid dying very early in the game to avoid gold disadvantage. Try your best to get the bird every time it spawn. This helps you get more gold for your first item. Chaos. I got my first item around 2 M ints. This is also because of my 2 kills and 1 assist. Tip! Always check the game time to plan your next priorities. One minute more before the Tyrant and the Lord spawn. As a marksman and a solo player, I always prioritize to take the Lord or Tyrant whenever I can. An enemy has been slain. Strategically speaking, taking the Overlord will increase your team's pushing power, and also reduce the enemy's gold yield in that wave since the minions will be replaced by a dragon. Next priority is the Tyrant for team buff. It's always the best way to destroy the enemy first tower before the game reach 4 minutes. This will open space for you and you can rotate more freely since the enemy has no first tower to retreat to. This will be hard for them to push your tower knowing their second tower is too far to retreat to. So from 4 minutes to 10 minutes, my game plan changes, depending on the development of the game. For instance, if my teammates keeps dying in a fight, then I'll avoid joining them. But if the fight is even, then I'll help and join my team. But, if they always win the fights, then there's no point in joining them. I would rather push towers instead. An ally 
has been slain! Now notice our wave will be replaced by a dragon. This will reduce the enemy's gold yield instead of minions. The enemy is pushing my bottom tower, but it's okay to trade it for their top tower, so we can have more space to move and push their second tower. Like Sun Tzu said, what the ancients called a clever fighter is one who not only wins, but excels in winning with ease. Check out the description below if you want to follow me in TikTok. You can also subscribe to my YT channel, this way you'll be inspired to make more content in this game. I hope this video helps to improve your role in this game, and thank you for watching, ciao! Destroy the tower.